we got a Nike SB box, and you already know when it's an SB, it's something special. So today, we have, have the SB Dunk High Pro Sweet Tooth. We're getting that normal purple SB box, nothing too, too crazy, but we do have my size right here, US 11, AKA UK 10. So this SB Dunk High Pro was actually inspired by a candy corn sweet. Usually those sweets are handed out at Halloween, but it's known for its vibrant look, as you can tell by the ombre gradient design on the sneaker. You can tell this by the insole of the sneaker as well. So this SB Dunk High was inspired by a sweet called the candy corn, and it's been given out at Halloween time. So yeah, this is released ahead of Halloween because of the warm, ombre upper gradient design that we've got right here it's pretty crazy and i think it's very cool to have this as a story this is not the first sb dunk design to be inspired by candies or sweets no 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 we had one that actually dropped the sb dunk low candy canes came out in 2015 around christmas time so people were copying them at christmas and they're thinking what sort of cane am i getting but now we got a halloween version but from the colors used on a sneaker this is inspired by another SB Dunk Low that was actually very limited when it came out. The Dunk Low Ray Gun Home in 2005. Obviously it hasn't got the gradient design, but you can see the color blocking is very, very similar. Will you be getting these ahead of Halloween? But we're gonna go through the details of the sneaker so you know a little bit more of what you're getting yourself into before you purchase. So price on this pair was £119, 95p UK. US was $125. Also guys, my name is Jam Got Kicks. I make sneaker content one to two times a week. So make sure you subscribe if you like the content. I like how I just do my style of videos and just sub and like the video. But let's continue anyways. On the bottom of the sneaker, you're gonna get a orange shit in the middle and a black top sole. Going up to the midsole, you're gonna get a pure white midsole. Also on the midsole, we are getting orange stitching all across the sneaker that goes all the way around. Then going up to the upper, you're getting a smooth leather across the top of this ombre gradient design all throughout the sneaker, which is very, very sick. You're gonna get orange laces right here for those hits. You're gonna get a slight extrusion on the tick because there is a layer of material beneath it to give it that pop. Moving up to the back tab, of course, we've got that yellow gradient back tab as we love to see, but there's more, more hits to see on this sneaker. Across the upper, we're gonna get white stitching, yellow stitching too, that goes around the entire sneaker, which is pretty cool. A special design on the toe box of the right shoe of this sneaker. You're getting teeth marks to resemble that sweet tooth design, which is debossed into the sneaker, which is flipping cool. You're gonna get three extra lace options on this sneaker. You got orange, you got white, you got black, and then the orange you get on the shoe. So basically four pairs of laces in total. On the back of the tongue tab of the sneaker, you're gonna get a tooth design and also, it has a little message beneath that. It says, warning, do not take candy from strangers, which is flipping sick. That's just like a cool slogan to have. Also, it's a good message for the youth because you know there's some weird people out there in these tweets. On the front of the tongue tab, you're even gonna get a mini graphic of like a ghost face or a pumpkin face. On the inside of the sneakers, you can see the candy corns designs. I think it just gives the cherry on top of the sneaker. You stay on my mind. Sizing, I went with my true to size and they fit me perfect. You can go half a size down though, but for me, I'm gonna say true to size. Big man ting. So what does this sneaker actually resell for? Let's actually find out right now. People, I ain't gonna lie, this doesn't really resell for much. You could probably make about 10 to 20 pounds profit if you sell locally. I mean, it does scream Halloween, but it also screams summertime as well. So it, it's kind of hard to really gather this pair, but hey, I think it's a cool sneaker overall. I do like the hits on this. Like it's got so many special features on this pair that it's just unique. Is the colorway too out there for normal people? Probably, I ain't gonna lie. Like when can you ever wear this out? If you wear this every day, people know you're wearing this every day. 
like it's not subtle whatsoever it's not an everyday shoe it's not gonna go with every outfit so because of that reason not many people are gonna buy it let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below again subscribe if you do like this content of course and let me know like what you're thinking of the reviews how you're liking the reviews and stuff being your boy jam got kicks god bless treat people how you like to be treated jesus loves you whatever you're going through jesus is with you pray to him i promise he will change your life i'm out get on